Yeah, we going LV, baby. LB. She's still alive. And she's dumb. What the fuck is this? Okay, I see it. Yo, chill. Hold on, hold on, Doms. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um request you. I need to do my intro. But what the fuck is going on with this shit right here? What is this? Hold on, everybody. Grab champs. I don't know what the fuck is going on over here. Hold on, Dom. Stop calling me. I gotta call. I'm I'm gonna invite you. I just gotta situate this. What the fuck? All right. All right. My bad. I had to situate the. Yeah, we live, baby. Grav champs, grav champs. We live. Let me put on my theme music. You heard it's the vertical, vertical, vertical. Diablo, SR the general, full blast the beat. God, grav champ, yeah, grav champ, uh, yeah, grav champ, yeah, grav champ. Uh, yeah, champ. Uh, shit alive, shit alive. Shout out the grav champs. Shout out the grav champs. Shout out the grav champs. Shout out the Graf Champs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tune in to Graf Champs. We appreciate the love and support for all the Graf Camps. The most amazing and iconic artists out here smashing it from the train yards to the rooftops to the storefronts, highways, catch a wreck. That's saw the general. He be going crazy, bro. From his Instagram account, Supreme Clientel Radio. Interviewing all the icons, the ones that led the way. Salute to all the fallen legends, the ones that set the stage. Ah, moment of silence, let us remember those. Peace. Whether they family or they were friend or foe uh, Pay them a love them, let's show them some respect Major contribution in hip-hop, rap chancer to the death Ready and willing, never scared to fry Never Chancing the odds of getting up, prepared to rise Super talented vandals, never scared to die Let's show them love while they breathing Go ahead and share the love, share the love So tell a friend to go and tell a friend Tell a friend the views are dope From the start up to the end To the end Let's show him love and call it glory time Repost his post on your post Share his post up on your storyline So tell a friend to go and tell a friend Tell Ooh. a Interviews are dope From the start up to the end yeah, to the Let's show him love and call it glory time Repost his post on your post Share his post up on your storyline That's all the God yeah. General Graph Champs team, Full Blast Music The Beat God Straight 16, straight to boss and bosses, 4 5 to God. What's your yeah. boys? Rap Cinema, Supreme Clientel Radio, Supreme A1s, Clientel, baby. Joe 21, Rap MBK, Joker, Nico, Viral Monarch in the White building. Onyx, 2 on 3, Shit Live, Choose Branch G, Diablo, The Authority, Nothing But Kings. Salute to all the legends that ain't alive. A one, baby. It's what we doing, baby. Ah. Diablo salute. Ah. Straight we grab chips. Shit alive. Get these numbers up. We out. What's what's good, Harlem God? I see you. I see you. Hey yo, big Dom's in the building. Yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna request you after I do the intro, Dom's. You heard? As well, as y'all niggas already know, we got Dom's KOC in the building today. Grav Champ, season two, episode four. Harlem legend, NYC king, on concrete barbarian. But before we even start the show, I want to say rest in peace to a few people, man. Rest in peace, Mort. You know what I'm saying? The homie Mort, salute. Rest in peace, bro. You know what I'm saying? Salute. DJ K Slay, Desi Des, salute. <clears throat> rest in peace. We lost a lot of great people in these last couple of weeks, man. Salute per, I mean, um, rest in peace per FX crew, you know, BX, and he's a, a, a super crazy artist, even besides graffiti, just, yo, it's a, it, it's sad, bro, but just rest in peace to all of these people, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to shout out, of course, um, Supreme, uh, Su uh, Supreme Clientel Radio, my nigga Turk. I want to uh, shout out BIM Clothing, Bushwick Radio, my nigga's fucking Primetime and Pop Rec, what it is, my nigga Salute, my nigga F Boom. 
You know what I'm saying? Salute, Diablo. Oh, I want to I want to shout out G Stack, of course. Always, he's the one who started me off in the whole Grab Champs, my first fucking episode. You heard? Salute, um, salute, Big Roach. I see you in the building. Salute, Graph Cinema. Um, salute my guy Tony G, man. Um, follow my nigga Tony G on IG, bro. Tony G, bro. He got some shit, bro. Good music. Um, I just want to say um, love to everybody. Thank you for um, the last episode. Dio, salute my nigga. We went into Queens. It was another legendary success. You heard? Now we jumping from Queens to Harlem across that water. You heard? We going across that water to motherfucking Harlem. So without further ado... Let me get my nigga Doms in here. Doms, K O C. Yeah, Doms. Where you at? Where you at? I'm trying to pop up on you, Doms. Where you at? Here we go. 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 Yo. Doms, K O C in the building, bro. New York's own legendary Manhattan representative. Yo, my nigga Rav is right there. He's he's like all hype and shit. You heard, Doms? Yo, peace. Word. Peace, Rav. What up, what up? Yo, so you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So before anything, bro, we just want to... The reason that we're here is to salute you, your creativity, your fucking... Your, the, the work that you put into the streets, the dedication, decade after decade, the destroying that you did. You heard? So we're here to salute that, my nigga. So th this is how it usually goes. The fans wants to know from the beginning, what got you into graffiti? Oh... Uh. I've been, I was always drawing since I was a kid, but my mom used to take me to school. I was just real interested on, you know, on getting on the trains. It was always graph on the trains on the way to school in Brooklyn, coming from Brooklyn. So, but then, like, the building, building I used to play in, well, I used to build and I lived at, the playground at the end was, like a train ditch, you know, it was like a ditch where they had they slate trains laid up there. So they used to see writers at a young age writing on the trains. I was like saying to myself, like they gonna get in trouble. Like why are they doing that? You know what I'm saying? So I was just already like exposed to some bad, some crazy shit from young. I, don't, I guess I was just stuck with seeing it every day going to school. Seeing this while I was playing, something like that. Catching right, you know, young, catching writers in the act, older writers. So, so uh, what part of Brooklyn did you come up in? No, oh, I first I was, came up from Coney Island. Born, like, born, it was like born in like Best Style, then we moved to Coney Island, then we moved to East Blackbush, then we moved to Crown Heights. And then from there, I moved uptown. All right, all right. So, so how? When was the first time when you was like, "Yo, I, I'm gonna try this shit"? Like that you picked up a can and really like went for it. Did you like ride on trains before? Well, no. Well, the first I, when I used to when I first experimented with it, it was really just Marcus. But then my pops, like under the sink, he had spray cans. So. You all you send me to the store for a lot of shit all the time. So I would like like steal one of his cans and take it with me and, and write my whatever tech I think I was writing some stupid shit it's like spec or something back in the day though. So I, I was trying to see so I would steal his cans and go to the store, see if I could sneak a little write something through there. I, that's where it started from stealing, stealing spray cans from under my pop sink. So, so how how did you get your tag? That's simple. That was that was just that was just the best letters I could do at the moment. It wasn't no careful thought out plan. Oh, words like, some practicing letters, and that's just what you came up with. Yeah, exactly. You know, like the easiest letters for me at the time was a D, a O, and an M. So for people that my tag is not Dom, my tag is Dom, D O M, really. You know, but the S came later. So basically, that was, like I said, the best thing I could do at the moment. Wow. 
Wow, that's crazy. So so then um so when you started writing Doms, you was just for Dolo? Yeah, when I when I well when I for when I figured out the Dom joint, I had already met other writers and shit. And I had trying to figure out a better tag because the tag I wanted to write, some I found out somebody had it. So I had to make up something else, you know. Later on later on the S came in. As like, like just like how people write one or write ski, that was where the S came at. Like just like, just, just like the style purposes and shit like that, or make it look good or whatever. True, true. But so, who you started writing with though? Like who? The first, like you, one, the first went bombing. You went by yourself. Like who? Who did you go with? I went with um, I went um, with um, with with um, AI. AI one, you know, uh, I did I did a couple bombs with with ZE, like that was one like uh, those was kind of one of my first, you know, more like Zeus, Zeus AFA bars. Um, yeah, like even STEM, even STEM was like one of my day ones. I mean, like, you know, even oh, uh, I had this dude named Tech. He don't he don't write no more, but um that was one of my partners and then um Joker 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 was one of my partners when I was first coming up. So so what year what what years was this like like when you started like really writing like taking it serious? Uh from from like from from eighty six from like eighty six to like eighty eight was like trial and error. It was like me trying to figure out what name I was going to do and how I was going to do it and shit like that and trying to, you know, figure shit out. But then, like, Bob, I, like, right on, the, on his way into, like, 88, like, I, I caught it. I already figured it out. I already had, like, like a, a good idea. And then I, I was already the bomb. I start, I, had, I had a lot of writers I fucked with back then. It was uh, I even even was like drone D D R O N E. I remember he helped me with my first throw up. Drone T D K. He helped me with my first throw up and shit like that. So, wow, that's, and, uh, that's, that's crazy. Drone helped you with your first throw up. Wow. Yeah, and me me ended up having beef later on. Word up. But you got I gotta give credit to do. He helped me out with my first throw up. That is. I right, so now so now the fucking the, when the nineties start and shit is like a lot of a new wave of you know everybody that was like you said trial and error in the mid to late eighties now they figured it out and now niggas is killing shit. Tell me about the nineties, bro. How did you feel about the nineties first start? So much competition. Yeah, yeah. It gets, now it gets now it gets interesting. Now it gets interesting because now now I move I move from I, I end up. I ended up moving from high school from Brooklyn and going to, I mean, ended up moving from like Wingate to, to Washington Irving, right? And then Washington Irving had an art major program and shit like that. Then I also ended up moving from Brooklyn to Harlem. And then there was a whole number situation, class of writers with like Ray Dogs and Sleepy and Deep Smooth and Joe Knott and Glow and Crud and Jane, Melly, and it was, and it was, you know, so it was like, now I knew these writers in Brooklyn, and then I just met all these writers uptown. So now I'm going to school in Manhattan, I'm going to Washington Irving, now you got, now I'm in the, I'm in the art major shit, so on the seventh floor, you could do your own mural, so now, so it's like, it was, it was kind of like came together, it kind of bugged out, it came together, because it was like, it was like a melting pot from all the girls. It was like all the bros was going to Irving. Everybody was meeting. That's where I met. That's where I met Hopsack. That's where I met F. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I met Stem and Wingate. You know what I'm saying? But that's where I met a lot of a lot of the brothers that I still fuck with today. That's where I met them. I'm like between Wingate, John Dewey, Washington Irving, from three different high schools. I met D. E. and John Dewey. You know, Rush, Russian all of them while I was in John Dewey, Coney Island writers. Then I met the other side of Brooklyn writers in Wingate. Then I met 
the Harlem, uh, Manhattan writers in, in urban, when I moved to Harlem. So, this is what, like, that's how Z E ended up becoming the vice president of my crew because we met in Brooklyn. And then when I moved uptown, I'm like, yo, I'm going to run this shit uptown and you run this shit in Brooklyn. So, yeah, I was put down writers out there. And I had, you know, put more down writers out here. That's how KOC became big. And it was like, yeah, like all the Brooklyn dope writers like Tez, they, you know, all those all dope ass writers like Daz and shit like that. It came together. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you you clarified that up because there was always like a confusion about that because niggas seen like Dom's KOC and then they would see like um like Rush or, or ZE KOC and they thought it was like two different crews and shit. No, it was definitely it definitely was the same crew. ZE was my the whole plan with ZE was my vice president. The, the, the rest the rest the rest dude he, he was they're always down from day one two with us, but it wasn't what he didn't have power to just put people down without saying anything or letting anybody know. For me to run into writers that's down with my shit and not even know who they are, so that ended up becoming. Uh, you know, a situation where we had to talk about it. But yeah, but regardless, he, the he, he definitely was, was very definitely big because it was a lot of heavy artists. A lot of heavy, you just named a lot of heavy artists. You said Hops, you said F Boom, you said Stem. Those are three crazy artists. Oh, Even because you're crazy. Tim, Chem, Fabe, Stout. A lot of good writers, man. But the thing is, is that it was like every like at the end of the day, right? Like everybody, it was a the welfare building was across the street, and that was a spot. So at the night at nighttime, everybody would go there and and do it and blow it up. So that became most almost, almost like a hall of fame, like right across the street from Washington Irving. That's it. That's everybody. Everybody had to have a, like a throw up a tag there. Or, so, 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 like, then the Harlem writers, the Harlem writers, like, Stan 153, rest in peace, Stan 153, you know, uh, the, like, oh, my, you know, I got to give props to my boy Spawn GNR. They used to do all the garbage trucks and stuff like that. Can't forget about him. So, I met these were kind of uptown writers, Vulcan. So I met Joe's Ava, shit like that. So I'm like, like you know, it was, it was lit. It was like, it was like everybody knew how to bomb, even when they fucked up because we got caught taking like scratch tags or some shit. They gave us all community service, right? So they gave us all community service on 145th. Every now they made us meet more writers because there was writers because when. Web and fucking into one of them niggas. They was doing fucking community service on one four fifth. We was doing community service on one four fifth. So now we meet these niggas doing community service. Oh yeah, you right. Oh okay, let's link up later. Now guess what? Now we now we got rights of passage to Queens. Now we can go bombing <laughs> in Queens now. You know what I'm saying? So now they want to come bombing uptown. We want to go bombing in Queens. They exchange no robbery. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but that's how the graph world is, bro. It's crazy when niggas connect like um the RFC days. That was like a crew that was neutral when there was everybody from every borough down there. So you meet in everybody and you go in everywhere. So it was like a it's like a cheat code kind of yeah, like strength in numbers, you know. Like <laughs> that was dope. That was dope because it was like. You had to be a survivor to, to, to hang out down there, yo. You couldn't come go down there on no sucker shit because niggas would take your shit. Word up. And you probably get beat up, take your clothes and shit like you, you know, shit like that. So, but, the, but if you was valid, you rolled around, had fun, and still suitcases full of 40s. Whole suitcases full of fucking 40s and shit like that. Leather coats yeah. and shit like that. This the nigga Carl. What, terrorizing that shit. Terrorize the village, yo. Terrorize. You come to that, come to that corner, they ask you for ID straight up. 
Give me ID. You can't, even if you're trying to go to McDonald's, you can't even go to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> That's foul, son. Niggas can't even get a mixed sandwich. <laughs> Yo, those were the funnest days. I seen the nigga, um, Carl. Carl too devious. He ran into the store with a fucking a luggage and he filled the whole thing up with 40s. It was so yeah. heavy that he couldn't even carry it. He dragged it out. Clean, 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 clean. Yeah, nigga, and he came out with it and fucking the Chinese came out. It was crazy. Niggas was running with 40s. It was you go in the store. You go in the store three or four deep, right? Two of us get into an argument and start a fight with each other, right? So we fake pushing each other around, right? So they pay, they think we serious. So while we fucking fake fighting, niggas is chilling their whole shit. So just team team shit, man. Good times though. Can't do that shit no more. Look, cameras all over the place. Now you you be done to try to do that shit now though. Don't try niggas, that shit at home. You'd be kicking your door down for forties because you stole yeah. like Right? Oh, boy, you be on the fucking news. You be on the fucking news. <laughs> oh. Word, Yo, but the 90s, to me, in my opinion, the 90s is the um is the golden era for us. You know what I'm saying? Our our generation is shit. So tell me about the 90s, bro. How So now you're skating through. Now people see you on videograph, and it's like, oh, they finally get to see you, like, in action because um I don't know if you younger niggas understand this, but back in the day, it wasn't no internet or nothing like that. You couldn't just type a nigga name in and see his whole resume. You know what I'm saying? So videograph was a very esteemed thing to be a part of. And when you came on, you blew it up to a, a different level. You sh literally straight street bomb killed your whole segment. Tell me about that shit. But, but before, before, I was, before the video graph was even thought of, I had, was broken with this lady named Daniela Kirstenbaum. She was a friend of mine at the door. And that's how I met you. That's how I met you. And Daniela. So, yes. The lady Daniela ended up having a good relationship with me and end up moving to San Francisco. When she moved to San Francisco, since I was airbrushing, she got me a job doing a spray paint class for the parks department, which gave me which gave me an excuse to get out to San Francisco. So now when I get out there, now I go bombing. This is two years before video grab. So when it when so when I did that, it was like I'm doing something that niggas ain't even really doing. Everybody was trying to hit New York like that. And I went all the way to San Francisco and did that shit. So, but you know, if you're a writer, wherever you go, you gotta, you gotta get your shit up. It's very addictive. So I ended up doing my thing out there. That killed it for me. Then when I came back, had the fever kept bombing and bombing and bombing. So then when they asked me to do the video grab, big shout out to Wayne's TLD. Least and AOK do because Wayne told me like like I, he said you don't have you don't have to do it but if you do it don't let that be what what makes you in grab you know what I'm saying so it was like because I, I wasn't really I was skeptical about it I was like oh, I ain't, I don't really need that shit so basically when I did do this shit I basically was like I'm gonna do this shit I'm gonna do this video though for them. But then I'm just going to keep going. Like, it never happened, you know? So I wasn't, like, mad gassed up that I did a video that I got exposed or I got some fame or nothing like that. I was I had it in my mind from from the OG already. Don't let it go to your head. You know, yo, do, do the interview with them. Do your mission. And then, you know, big shout-out to Nick One because and Cameraman Carl because, like, camera, he, Cameraman Carl does the, the camera work, but... Nick One is the one who watched my back so good that I didn't get run down on by police. He was my eyes and shit for me while I was painting. So, you know, he deserves credit too because if it wasn't for his good eyes, I would have got caught. That right. was a big segment, bro. You don't ever want to watch that shit. I don't, I don't even own the video myself, but I, I got it. I think I got it somewhere on my, on my Instagram somewhere, but Nigga, that shit is classic, my nigga. Crazy. That shit what that that shit came out in like what nine that shit dropped in like nine six or some shit, right? 94. 93 or 93. 
Crazy, my nigga. So then, all right, so now, boom, the videograph drops. You was already killing shit. Now, 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 it's the club days and shit. Remember going to yeah. the fucking clubs yeah. and shit? But now, we hanging out more and more in the Ville, and we going to the arena and stuff like that. Snoop Dogg, like, they get Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, they, Snoop Dogg album, just like Doggy Style, Snoop Dogg album, just came out. Like, so now, we, we in the Ville, so now we need even more writers because everybody is clicking up in the Ville. And then we all going to Limelight, we going to all these different clubs and shit together, rolling man deep. So, it's, you know, that's a, the 90s, that shit was dope. That shit was dope. But it just, everywhere we go, we just kept picking up five more, six more people. Everywhere we went, 10 more people pull up, two more people pull up. Word up. And then everybody, everyone we write up, we meet down there. You know what I mean? Like I said, unless you was a sucker and you had to stay away. But that was dope. We meet up in West Fourth. We walk all the way from West Fourth to 14th Street, like a whole block, a whole block full of writers, a whole block full of writers. And it was funny, no, nobody got no picture of that. You know, you, so, so I want Art, rest in peace, Art Nine One One, C A, Ross, A O S, Teddy, Buddha, C A, you know. Foes, Dev, Seats, you know, you know, you know. Bus well, rest, in peace, near. rest in peace, near too, KGB, bro. Rest in peace, near KGB. That's a fact. Rest in peace, five RUF. What up? We're, so 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 now fucking we're running from clubs to clubs and shit. So I wanted to talk about the the first time I ever got arrested in my life. I got I got sucker punched and beat up and arrested by the cops. And then it's because I was waiting for you to come off the train. We were going bombing. Do you remember that? Yeah, we didn't even get off the runway. We fucking, I, I went to meet up with you. I went to meet up. I came all the way from Manhattan to meet up with you. I stood over there in front of your crib. I waited for you to come down. You came down with the paint finally. Now we go around the corner. We see a spot. I think if you fucking go to go first, God. Like, I, I fucking end up running the other way, you in the other way. Nigga got caught. We didn't even get, we got like a block away from your crib. You no. Like no, no. You came off the train and I was already beat up and arrested with my brother. Remember? Because he was wearing the mask. Do you remember that? Yeah, I did forget. I did remember? Forget. I Told you where I lived out of you ran you went and you found my crib and you told my mom's nigga. Okay, see, I had it backwards. I had it backwards. I knew I had, I had it some I had it somewhere in there. Son, that was the first time I ever got arrested in my life, nigga. That's crazy. After that, that shit was a domino effect. <laughs> <laughs> it started it off. This is this is this, 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 this some of the shit that I did though. Let me check the technique. Yo, niggas don't even know that how crazy of an artist this nigga is. Look at that shit. Was that a whole? That's a whole um, room space. Yeah, it's my my own my people's apartment, like the headquarters, Stacktown Entertainment headquarters. They do music and shit like that. Hip hop, you know that. Fire, nigga. Fire. Since we're talking about fire shit, bro, we got to pick your graffiti brain, my nigga. Who's your top 10 favorite writers of all time, my nigga? Oh, oh. I like, uh, I like, I fuck with STEM, definitely. Oh. John, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, my pen, I got to write it down. Hold on, hold on. All right, you said STEM. Oh, shit. I gotta put this shit in my book. Stem. Who else? Yo, it's like a fuck with stem. Oh, definitely uh JLZ, Jaws, Jaws one. Shh, rest in peace. Where it all? Spider. Spider T O P. 
Fight a T.O.P. Uh, Dan 153. All right, that's four. You got six more, if you even have six. Dom's KLC, one of them. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't now. Fuck with you. Yo. Jaws has the sickest throwy, bro. Jaws is fucking straight letter throwy. It was so crazy. Yo, that, yo, TK, TK, TNR. TNR, man. Right. Salute TK, bro. One of the best, one of the best dudes I fucking know that could write mad fucking crazy. Oh, um, fucking, fucking Zimag, yo. Zimag. Zimag, yo. Zimag, Z I M A D. Z I M A Z D. Zimag. I think it's stupid nice. Okay, um, Def, um, Dondi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Uh, VFR, Beefer. Beefer, salute. Beefer. Last but not least, last person. Last person, near KGB. Near, rest in peace to God. Wow. You talking about Zim, that kid, the person you said, Zim Man, is, who is that? Uh, he, he fucking, uh, he's a writer. We do a lot, we do a lot, we do a lot of canvases now, but when we do walls, it's nasty. Crazy. All right, I got to check for him. I'm going to look him up. Twitch, yo, you know, twist. You got, you could, you could put, you could put twist down too. You know, I'll just go to eleven. Twist. And I'll twist. Right All right. Now, what about your favorite throwies? Who you think got the best throwies? Best throwies. Um, yo, that's all. That's a dope throwie. That's Ooh. all. Fucking okay, um. I like um. Like nice old shit. Nice old got dope clothes. Nice old. I like the um, the um, the ZB, the ZB got dope clothes. That's a dope yo. Ooh, ZB, my nigga. Salute. Uh, Web one thirteen got a dope clothes. Official, always uh, official. One thirteen. Um, Oh, my boy, my boy, um, yo, Senna, Senna got a dope throw. Who? Oh. I didn't hear you. Who? Senna, 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 Senna has a dope throw. Oh, oh, you know what? TKA, K5. Ooh. TKA, K5. They got dope ass toys too. And K5? TKA, K5. Rest in peace. Um, okay, um. Ooh, TKA, that was a good one that you pulled out right there too. And K5 and ZB, that was a good one you pulled out too. ZB, ZB got a dope toy too. <clears throat> GNS, GNS got GNS got a dope throw up. GNS definitely seven. You know, remember it used to be seven seven seven. He got a dope throw up. He does that shit fucking mad big. Two more, two more. Um, Rhino, Rhino got a dope throw up. Ooh, Rhino. Rhino. Oh, yeah, monstrous throw. We salute Rhino. Yeah. One more. One um, more. Okay. The last person. 
the, 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 I like I like that um like a, um it's like a peak it's like he has a peace sign. It's like he does a he does a zip. I don't even know exactly the tag, but he got a peace sign up there. A peace sign in the stone? It is a a pull up in his neck because like a peace sign right there next to me. Like I don't know if you can do it. Might be new. I'll show you. I'll show you a picture of this. I'll leave that. Give you somebody else. Oh, my boy, my boy, news. My boy, news got a dope dope. N E W S. News. N E W S. News. That's a Queens. That's a Queens dude. Uh, he, he came from Florida. He came from Florida to New York. So let me ask you this. Fuck that. I'm going to ask you this. I'm going to have to put you on the spot. Because you're a big time uptown representer. You're one of them goats. You're on the Mount Rushmore up, up there. Who's, who's the nigga? Who's the top nigga to ever come out of uptown? The top nigga? Oh, for me, I was, uh, I think. I think the best nigga is probably like Doby and shit. Like the dopest nigga was like Doby. Doby. The Doby. Doby. Doby was dope. Doby was that. Top nigga is more. Why? Yeah. Man, it's man. Who? D O B Y. Yeah, he was fucking man. He was everywhere. D O B Y was everywhere. But he's um. You had scan. You had. I don't know if you remember Scanner. Oh, the Spawn, Spawn was the, one of the dopest niggas I ever met. That nigga was killing a whole garbage truck, yo. Oh that was God. one of the dopest niggas I ever met. I didn't see how he do that shit with the ridges and stuff like that. Till I end up doing the garbage truck for him. That shit, is, that shit is complicated. It's not easy fucking with those ridges. Yeah, I seen one back in the day that he did that it was like um the whole spawn on the side of the garbage truck and it was like it looked like it was drippy like boogers. It was it was dope. Yeah. That nigga that nigga spawn like he did I seen him do like characters, like female characters and shit. Like word with like chains on and all of that shit on garbage truck. Word. Those, what those, about those, those niggas. Um, and fucking, you know, case two. Case two is from Harlem, you know what I'm saying? Can't forget about Case two. He's a Harlem writer. In case, hell yeah, that's a legend right there. And Louis Louis one six seven had a dope ass throw up too, dude. Louis one six seven. Yeah, I'll put him on the list for you because Louis is one of my favorite writers. Period. That nigga right there is the man. <laughs> Yo, he went on a run, right? Him, Tyke, Rule, they 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 smash. Remember that. Remember that. What about TD? What do you think about the TD comeback? TD coming back and destroying shit. I met TD before. He's cool. I like that shit is dope. He's a dope bomber. Everybody, to me, I, I'm I'm into skills. I'm into tags, throw ups, skills, practice. Well, I, I give credit with his dude when it comes to bombing. You know, but I, I, I just, I like, you know, I, I say, get, I mean, that nigga's got fame, a lot of fame, so I give them that credit. But I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a different kind of, into a different kind of thing. I, I want to do, like, shit that look nice, not just, not just one throw up everywhere. I'm, I'm weak. I think too many different ways for that. Uh, so yeah, I, I want to do I met this nigga. That's why you see. That's what I be telling niggas too. You know, when I do my shit, it doesn't even matter as long as it's just nice and crisp and everything is all nice and even. Just you know, make it look presentable. It'll look. It'll look hot, my nigga. Niggas just be doing some choppy bullshit. So from the beginning, since I met you, since we was young, young teenagers, you always your shit was always crisp. You had nice straight line. Like Thank you're you. one of the few niggas that 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 kept to that principle. Like I, I've been on it. Thank you, thank you, man. I'm, this, you know, it shout out to Airbuster because outside of doing outside of graph, 
if brushing it is it's how it's you up too like the, the more you do it the better you get and it depends on you it depends on how you want to look be looked at as a writer how much practice you get and how you know how much you know practice your lines like I go to my roof and I practice lines you know I do outlines and outlines and outlines and practice lines and shit like that so I so I was able to do it like like it was a throw up like do straight up like it was, like it was throw up speed but that just come from practice so in me wanting to be known that way like I want I wanted to be known as my shit was neat like I could of all the writers I know, everybody is criticizing this shit. Everybody, niggas is gonna tell them this shit look trash. This shit looks sloppy. You just feeling the black. So, I'm, I'm, when I'm doing my shit, I'm thinking about all that shit in the back of my head. Like, nigga will not say that shit about my shit. So, you too. You saying the same shit. Like, nigga not gonna talk about me. I'm trying to keep my shit crisp. You know what I'm saying? Crispy, it'll look, it'll look presentable and shit. What do you What do you think about the, the writers today? Like, um, do you even look at the walls? Do you see anybody killing shit? What, what do you see? Uh, you no, know, I give props to my son Funk. The niggas doing his thing. There's uh, some dope writers that do sprays. The dope, he's killing, he's killing shit. Oh, uh, safe. Uh, uh, there's a few, you know, there's a few, few dope dudes out there. There's no, my boy, my boy is not a new writer. Senna, Senna MS crew, he's not a new writer, but he's just be making a comeback and shit like that. So, you know, he's been doing a lot lately, so he, I'll put him in there. But, so, because he, he, he niggas are active. Oh, KI is active. Yeah, he's doing his thing. Um, his boys, or uh, or his peoples. Dope, dope is active. Kista is active. There's a few. It's just like right. you know, I I ain't got I got other shit, but I got some. I, I fuck with some new writers, but niggas are too cocky sometimes for kind of like say what's up and like keep it moving. I don't try to diss nobody, but I don't got no rap sometimes, man. Niggas don't try to, you, you be cool with a nigga, then you want to think they can burn you and battle you and all that stupid shit. So before yeah, I go so to the, the um, rap, question I want to ask, do you think the niggas from this day will like survive our era that we came through? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> no internet? No internet? Oh my fucking God, what the fuck are they going to do? <laughs> They'll probably die. They'll fucking die. You know, my goodness, they, they couldn't just write a tag and then take a picture of it? Oh, nah. Yo, that's why I say when, when I hear niggas say all the time, yeah, nigga, we outside, that's crazy to me that you have to tell niggas you outside because if you was outside, niggas would see you outside, nigga. First of all, if you, you know, the funny thing is, is that everything, to be everything, is, everything is supposed to be on a down low. The type of the type of game we in is supposed to be on a down low. That's why I'm wearing a mask right now. So I'm not promoting my where I'm at exactly what I'm doing at the exact time. I'm not doing that. It's not. So I don't get it. The mentality is fucked up. The mentality is fucked up. Like they, they, they saying like they incriminating themselves. They incriminating themselves. You know what the fuck? What is that? This little fucking shit right here is getting on my fucking nerves. All right, I'll fix it. But niggas, you telling somebody you outside? I'm, a, I'm be, I'm outside. I'm outside. My, my mom's don't even know. Nope. Like I, I just snuck out the house. For some shit, so I'm playing fucking hooky with school, doing some shit. I'm not promoting that I'm doing it because I don't even supposed to be where I'm at. I'm not supposed to be in train station writing on shit or. I'm gonna go to my son. I be that's why I be like, damn, because my son is 12 years old, right? And I be like, yo, at 12 years old, I was running through the train tunnels already. 
Yeah, dude, that's the shit. That's the thing is that I mean, when you have when you have to get that experience out the way, don't fear. Like after the first time I ever got arrested for graffiti, that was the most hardest time. After that, I got over it. It was off to the races after that. I wasn't scared no more to write on shit. Word. Word so, so, I, had just, I had to learn from that. Yo, so what's good? You don't got any merch that you want to promote? Like, you know, you got your airbrush shit. Are you doing pins, uh, sticker packs? What you doing? Well, I mean, it's, 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 right now I'm running the airbrush thing. You know what I'm saying? So I, I do, like, I'm doing uh, customized canvases and shit like that. I mean, please welcome me to you know, chat with me or follow me at Air Doms on, Air Doms on Instagram. My number and my email is there. You could uh, talk to me about a canvas, and if any writer wants a, wants a sticker pack, I can make that happen for you, but my sticker packs come with KOC numbers, so you'll get, you'll get dog stickers in there, and you'll get a couple KOC member stickers also. So if you want that, you know, just take me up on the gram and quiet. I got something happening with uh with, with Bomb the System with my boy Smoke. I wanted to let all the writers know, go down there. They got good they got good shit down there. That's my boy from NWF. He runs the graffiti store down there on Canal Street. Go down there and check him out on Dog Century. We're gonna do a little event down there and I'm gonna drop a, either a shirt or a pin and a shirt together. We not decided whether it's gonna be one or two items yet. But stay tuned because I'm gonna post it on my page. My page is Air Dogs on Instagram. The only thing that's on the page. But yeah, so we got to get working. It's, it's getting it's getting warm, so I got some shit coming out. Uh, my boy who run this headquarters at the spot I'm doing. But the little that we got a, a show coming up like in maybe like four or five months. We I have like a little art show here or something like that. People will come through and stuff like that. But that's yeah, keep, keep me posted, my nigga. So what about the streets? I seen you kill, uh, hitting shit with Bester a few here and there and shit. Yeah, Bester is one of my favorite writers too, man. I'm, he gonna fuck me up. Bester and Chad gonna fuck me up. But yeah, I, me and they, when we when me and Bester get together, it's like fucking Cheech and Chong or fucking Starsky and Hutch. You know what I'm saying? We get along mad good. He's, he's fast with his shit. I'm fast with my shit. We in and out. You know, we don't, we don't be writing at the same time. And I'm not looking at him writing while I'm looking for the fucking cops. So it's funny now. Sometimes you go writing with a nigga and he might admire you and he's watching you do your shit instead of watching for the damn police. <laughs> that happened to me. The oh, cops yeah. walked right up on us. Yeah. So so they they the niggas up. Up. That's funny. That's mad funny. Yeah, Best is a, a goat, my nigga. I, I I interviewed him on the first season of Graph Champs. Yeah, that that is. That, yeah. Big shout out to my boy Kel Five and Mates. No, the whole Five and Mates crew. My boy Joust. Salute Jaws, hell yeah. Five and Mates, yeah, they're coming to they're coming on Grab Champ soon too. Salute to the whole H, you heard? Or the whole five, yeah. I should say. Word. Um I had CM Niso. You said Niso is one of the dopest throwies and shit. Um I had Niso on the show. That nigga right there, he did um he killed like all the new tunnels. There's some like new tunnels uptown and shit, like on the Q line and shit. And he fucking oh my god, he did some beautiful like mad colorful shit in them shits, bro. Fire. Yeah, that, that's one. That's one thing I give it to. That's one thing I give it to. You know what I'm saying? Like even like my boy Fangs, FSB. My boy Fangs used to hit a lot of tunnels and shit like that. Free fans. A lot of niggas destroying tunnels right now, bro. There's a lot of niggas destroying tunnels and shit. The dude, oh. where, the dude that he remember Web, remember Web One, 
Web one needs to kill a ton of two. Web one. Web oh, one. Man. Not web yeah. one thirteen. Web one. Volume web one. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's one of my favorite niggas yeah. there too. Web oh, one. And fucking N40. N40 used to kill that shit too. That, that nigga was a dope writer too. N40. NB40? No, just N40. N40. Naughty 40. Naughty 40? Nah, no, MB40. So somebody will put you on. <coughs> I got a oh, Get ready to make a room. How long we doing? What you doing? How long we doing this? I didn't hear you, my bad. How long are we doing this? Any longer I'm gonna have to charge you. <laughs> nah, son. So I right, so before before we get off this, I wanna I, I just want one crazy bomber story. Tell me. You never rob who you rob somebody, you rob you robbed another writer when you ran into them, you don't gotta say their names, you 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 know, you dip from the cops, you 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 had to, you know, climb through somebody's window. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, one one fun, a funny joint, a funny joint was I went a couple blocks up from my grandmother's house and I went to do a rooftop. You know, and, and I was doing a piece up there and my mom caught me doing this shit and fucking pulled me out and just yelling my name and shit to come down. So when I came down, she took my spray can and gave it to some random niggas on the street. That was fucked up. That's that's some Rainbow B Street type shit. <laughs> Where... Burning, burning the, um, the, the, the old bombs that I've done, some shit I can't type, talk about, you know what I mean? This might hurt somebody's feelings. But so what about a rock story? You what, Tell me about a spot you steamed mad crazy. Oh, that's, that's easy shit, though, because instead of going <laughs> to school, I just, instead of going to school, I just, like, look up, like, look like, like, the, like we would, we go to, like, r and Strauss, right? We go to r and Strauss, and we, we'll, we'll take, like, the, the circular, and we look at the bottom, and we'll, we'll look at all the locations, and we'll go to all of them. So we'll, we'll go to, We'll go to all the all, all boroughs and, and go to all the RNS houses and kill them shits. Get to all the rust tough aluminums. You know what I'm saying? Go all the fucking, yo, know, all the fucking, all the fucking uh, rust holes and shit they had. Yo, know, the, the, the rubber rod, the rubberizers, the rubberized and shit. You know, kill all the RNS houses. And then you do the same shit with Martin Paint. And we had a master. How to open the glass in Martin Paint. They used to come with fucking two rust holes in the pack. So yes, the pack. Yeah, so I went to I went bombing. I went bombing in San Francisco with that nigga Twist, right? I went bombing in San Francisco with Twist. So he tells me to meet him somewhere, somewhere right? So I I, I I meet him there, and he shows up with two 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 bikes. He shows up with two bikes. I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? He's like, yo, we got this how we gonna go bombing. So I'm like, all right. So I got my bag, so we go bombing. So this nigga takes me fucking everywhere, yo. This nigga, so we bombed here, right? This nigga got this nigga got places that we stop off from and get he has cast paint with. I'm thinking we're gonna run out of paint. Nah, this nigga stopped over in some kind of parking lot or some kind of place and, and he got come paint with another, another fucking bag of paint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm, I'm with it, right? I'm down. So ne next thing I know, this nigga is climbing up. Some building caught on fire. So it must have been the next day the building was all charred down. This nigga climbed up all the way like four feet, four flights in the fucking air. And did a fucking giant uh, silver fucking filling up that shit. 
They were like, you come on, you good, you go. I'm like, nah, that's a good one. I stayed on the ground level. I did something, I did something on the floor level, but that nigga crazy. Big shout out to Twist, all you know what I'm saying? T H R. Yeah, he was that was dope. He, that was a dope bomb I did with him. Another dope bomb I did was with Spawn. After admiring him doing the trucks, he brought me with him. I did two trucks for him. That was dope. That was dope for me. I did um, I did some dope more commissions with, with my boy James T.O.P. Just just walking around in the hood with beers and shit, with, with markers and shit, just hitting every mailbox and shit like that. Cool shit nice. like that. Best of, bomb good with best of, some dope shit with best of. I think one time I was bombing with Joker. We was on 125th Street. The nigga got caught in the cop using a lot. The nigga got caught. He and the nigga um his moms had bought him a brand new red champion. So the cop took the spray can and fucking spray his fucking sweater. <laughs> so but they let us go, but when that nigga got home, the nigga moms fucked him up. Cause he just bought the nigga the shit. Big same day, like he just got it earlier that day for. Him. So he got fucked up in either way. Word up. That shit happened to a mad clothing of mine, son. That you get the fucking the dots on and shit. Mad polo, Tommy Hill, my jeans, fucking um Jabos, guest yeah. jeans. I'm like fuck. I was yo. I remember like. Once, like just just going through the just going through like Brooklyn stops and shit like that, getting off and trying to get hot spots, just breaking night doing that shit. And the time flies. It said, literally, it's time flies, man. Going All right, from, I'm gonna have to put you on the spot yeah. one last time, bro. What was your favorite to hit then, Brooklyn or or Uptown? My favorite to hit was Uptown. What was your favorite? Was, my favorite what? Spot? It, it was it? Yeah, when you was in Brooklyn, you know you was bombing, and when you lived in Manhattan, you know you kept on the legacy. So which one is better? Which one was you more comfortable and fun to hit in Brooklyn or Manhattan? It was. I, I learned. I, I start learning. I learned. Learned like the right to what to do in Brooklyn. You know, from the Brooklyn writers that I met, the OGs I met. I learned like a lot of my rules and shit like that coming out of BK. I could but when BK was very crowded. There's a lot of writers in BK, so you have to find room for your tag. It wasn't you didn't have open space. Now when I moved uptown, there wasn't so many writers uptown. So now I'm, I'm now I got all this. I'm running into all this space where it's not so it's not so crowded at. So now I'm now I'm like opening it up like. Oh shit, you know, I'm taking shit over now because of that. There wasn't, there wasn't as many writers uptown as it was in Brooklyn. So it was, it was like free, free, for, free space for me. And I, was, I was living uptown for four months before they even knew where I was. They thought that Dom was some Dominican person. They, and they had no idea I lived on 146. All that time. I was right, right up under their nose. That's what it is. So, so, so. Yeah, yeah. What's your answer, Brooklyn or, or, or Harlem? Harlem, Harlem, my favorite. That's where I got a chance to fucking strut my feathers. You know, Brooklyn gets proud of where I learned my rules at. My, you know, my. I feel you, but you got taught. You said you you learned your, the the rules and shit, and you learned your way with the Brooklyn OG niggas. Hell yeah, definitely. <laughs> Definitely. So we claim. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. I've been both places almost the same amount of time. You know who was another uptown dude too? Um, spoke. PT. Yeah. Yeah. Don't spoke. Don't. Um, spoke. He, he lived in Bushwick too. That's how I met him. He lived in Bushwick. And Jabster. Jabster was dope. Evil, Evil, Camp, the Brooklyn niggas, the Emer, Emer, Bugs, those niggas are my, those are my dudes too. 
There's so many writers, man. You just try to throw everybody. You don't want to forget too many people. A big what shout about, out to CD. What, what about this dude Um, they were telling me about um from Uptown, Mortimer? Did you ever hear of him? Nah. No? No. Remember that they were talking about him? So some some crazy tag like that, yo, some crazy tag, and they said that he <laughs> he killed like a lot of uptown and shit. I, I I don't know if I'm getting the name right. It's it's a it's a crazy name. I forget it. If somebody knows, yo, Doc, you know who I'm talking about? Doc is in the comments. Salute, Doc TDO in the building. Where, so, Doc. Yeah, man, yo, it's always love to talk to you, bro. always, man. We go so far back, bro. It's unbelievable from young yeah. teenagers to now, grown men, bro. You know, Thanks, I love you. Bro. Bro. We we went through mad adventures together, you know, and it was it was fun, my nigga. Word, yo. Yo, definitely, I remember hanging out with you at the door and shit fucking around, and all the RC cats was coming through. Yo, that shit was crazy. You, you had that place... We had that place going crazy. The word up. And we had the art room, fucking doing pieces in the art room and shit. Yeah, man, that shit was fun, bro. The, 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 the door was another melting pot, too. Because we were meeting people from every different boroughs, too. So, yeah, I heard that Sane went there. Is that true, Sane? Rest in peace, Sane? I don't know. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, so now we got to say rest in peace to Sins DNC, you know, and Slick and Sony, you know, got to give them any props and shit. And my boy Rab, Rab, Rab CAC, you know. Boy, rest and, in peace. And, you know, the, the, you? the bro, the bro per, per, you know, shit like that. Did you know um, Ray Dogs Up and Up, R.D.? Yeah, Ray Dogs, yeah. I don't nah, know. If he, I don't think he passed away. He, I think nah, he's still nah, alive. Nah, nah, because I, I don't know really nobody who really knows him like that and shit. So I, w I would love to get that nigga on the show. That nigga, hey, you remember that shit? That R.D. with the heart? That shit was crazy. He just came out he's of nowhere. Really. He's back, he's AP, back, he's back to get you in touch with that nigga. Big shout out to Sim. These stacks will get you in touch with that nigga. Big shout out to Duck and big shout out to TGL. Yo, G Stacks will get you in touch with that with um with, with Ray Dogs. Cause Duck and Duck they, they, they all they all fuck with each other. What what about um JP? Remember JP? Yeah, I remember JP. And then you remember remember cloning bonus? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I remember it was JP and Pause. JP wrote with Pause, Pause all the time. They were from the six line. They were from the Word. six line. Were a lot of a lot of shit, and of course, Ed, me, and Dalt and shit. All of them niggas was yeah. already known. Yeah, so, <laughs> Doug, rest in peace. Yo, there was so many niggas, bro. There was so many dudes with us, bro. It was like a thousand dudes with us, I swear to God. Dude. Look, I gotta oh, I gotta Ooh. sign off in a couple minutes. I got uh, yo, so, um give some shout outs before we dip. Some shout outs. Who you wanna shout out? Anybody? Shout out to uh, shout out to my mom's mom. You know what I mean? Shout out to USR. Shout out to my boy Rav. You know, shout out to the uh, the whole KLC squad. He painting, you know what we you know what we stand for, you know what we what we up against. Stay focused, practice, stay humble, get money. Uh big shout out to TLP, big shout out to KBB, CM, YNN, MOM, NWF, ACC. Uh, you know, my boys, most of my friends, my people, you know, they know who they are. Uh, my boy Dwayne TC. Uh, shout out to the Force. Shout out to my boy News. Uh, 
like uh, uh, my boy Estos, you know, shout out to Steve R. Shout out to you know, shout out to my shout out to my brothers from Stacktown Entertainment. You know what I mean? They got some dope shit. Shout out to shout out to Home. Period. You know. Shout out to my boy Swift. Shout out to Harlem as a whole. Shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out to Queen. Shout out to my boy George from All the Right. You no, know, uh, that ass. Shout out to Fogs. Shout out to Iowa. Sloan, TPA. Shit like that. I mean, uh, list goes on, but you know how many brothers we know as all. So you already know we, we going to forget somebody. That's a fact, yo. Yo, thank you for coming on Graph Champs, bro. It's a fucking honor. You know, I love you, my nigga. I'm going to hit you on the sideball. You heard? I just got to um upload this shit and everything like that, but I'm going to hit you back. Thanks a lot, B. Peace. Peace to all my writers and brothers out there, yo. Stay true. Get busy. And don't tell nobody you know me. <laughs> <laughs> One, bro. Yo, you got to X out. You got to X out. Oh, you want me to get? Oh, you want me to go get my cans? What happened? You trying to say? Who you talking about? Oh, uh oh. Hey, what happened? What happened? What happened? That's all. We 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 all right. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean, man? You okay? You okay over here? You okay over here? You got a little. You got a little bit of paint. Y'all stay tuned. He's out the damn champs. Salute, my brother. Yo, you you gotta X out. You gotta X out because I can't take you out myself. All right. I right, easy, Doms. Yo, that was Doms K O C baby rap champs. Yo, salute Ed. Salute everybody. Salute. Salute. Salute, Brayer. I seen you up in here. I salute a lot of people. I seen you up in in here, and then I'll salute Pup. What it is, Pup? That was um, Dom's KOC. Salute, Talk. What it is, bro? My nigga Roach. Yeah, I'm sorry about the long delay between the Graph Champs and shit. Just a few shit was going on. Yo, salute Coles, uh, TDS, bro. Throwback. <clears throat> Chaz Michael, salute. What it is. Yeah, I'm coming back in two weeks on the 7th with the next show. Salute, Ray. Thank you, Bob. For coming and support and pause. Um, yeah, in two weeks on the seventh, the next show lined up and shit. You heard? I still got a few SR pins left, just a few. If anybody wants? You already know what to do. I got the sticker packs popping off too. Uh, all of a sudden, man, people want to buy sticker packs a lot. Oh, and shit, but look what I got. Bing, bing, bing. bing. <laughs> I got stickers. You want to battle with stickers? <laughs> you want to battle? Yo, salute F. Boom, my motherfucking brother. You heard? Full Blast Music, my straight 16 family. Salute. Um, Yeah, I got some dope shows lined up for y'all, but y'all got to share the live and get these numbers up, bro. I know I've been gone for a minute, but we got to do better than this. Hold on. Who is this? Hi, right, so um, it's the vertical, vertical, squirtical. All over your girl's back. I'll see y'all niggas in two weeks. That was Graph Champs. <laughs>